Hello and welcome to Pavli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create WooCommerce products in bulk from Google Sheets. Now suppose guys, into a Google Sheet, you have the details of the all the product which you want to sell on your e-commerce store, which you have built using WooCommerce. And with the same details of the product which you have in your Google Sheet, you want to add those products, you want to create those products in your WooCommerce store. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this process. So in this automation, at one click, after setting up this automation, at one click, we are going to send all the product details from our Google Sheet account, and then using this public Connects automation, which we are going to build, automatically with the same details, all of those products will be created in our WooCommerce account one by one. So if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on public Connects dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to WooCommerce. And then just click on create over here. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, first, here in our Google Sheet, we have the details of all the products which we want to add in our WooCommerce store. So we have the product title, description, regular price, sales price, SKU, stock unit, image URL, all the other details. If you want, you can add more details about the product in this Google Sheet. Now we want that at one click, at one go using this automation which we are going to set up, we want to add all of these products in our WooCommerce store. So for that, first, we have to connect this Google Sheet with Pavli Connect in the trigger window. After connecting it, we will get the details of one single product, the first product from our Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. And then we will set up this automation to create products in WooCommerce. After setting up this automation, by a feature of Pavli Connect and Google Sheet integration that is send all data, we are going to send all of this data of the product details from Google Sheets to Pavli Connect. And then this automation workflow will run. And using this automation, which we will create all of these products, like in each and every row, we have a new product details. All of these products will be automatically added one by one in our WooCommerce store with the same details. So let's see how it is done. Now here in our trigger window in choose app, search for Google Sheets first. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets, here in trigger event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect this Google Sheet with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we just have to follow the help text given below over here. Just copy this webhook URL from here and go to your Google Sheet. After coming to the Google Sheet, go to Extensions, Add-ons and click on Get Add-ons. And after clicking on Get Add-ons, you will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here in Search app, search for Pavli Connect Webhooks. And here you can see that Pavli Connect Webhooks, this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheet. You just have to install this same add-on into your own Google Sheets account and after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. Now after installing and refreshing our Google Sheet, once again go to Extensions and now you can see that Pavli Connect Webhooks, this add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. After clicking on Initial Setup, here you can see that this box appears in front of us. And it is basically asking us three different things. First one is selected sheet. The second thing is webhook URL. And third thing is trigger column. Now here in selected sheet, by default, it has selected sheet one over here. So here guys, it is most likely possible that in your Google spreadsheet, you might have created multiple sheet. So in which sheet you have the details of the product which you want to add in your WooCommerce store. From which sheet we want to send the data to Pavli Connect of product details. You have to select that sheet over here. 
then here in webhook url we have to paste the exact same webhook url which pavlikini gave us in the trigger window just copy it from here and then paste it over here and after pasting the webhook url the next thing it asks us is the trigger column now you must be thinking what is this trigger column so trigger column is going to be the last data entry column of our google sheet now here in this background you can see that we have data till column g in this google sheet we have this data till column g so column g is going to be our trigger column because we have the data in our google sheet till column g if you have added more data any column could be your trigger column you just have to ensure that it is the last data entry column of your google sheet so in trigger column enter column g over here and then click on this send test button now when we click on send test here you can see that it is showing us test data sent successfully this means the data of the first row after headers means the data of row number 2 the product details which we have entered in row number 2 these details are now sent to pavli connect and we will go to a pavli connect workflow and here you can see that we have received this response in this response you will see the details of the exact same product exact same row number 2 from our google sheet here you can see the same product name that is washing machine then after that here you can see the stock quantity for the same product then you can see the spreadsheet name and spreadsheet id then here you can see the sales price the sku row index and then here you can see that we have received the regular price of this product the image url which we have added and also the description of the product means the details of this complete row of this complete product from our google sheet is been sent to pavli connect over here and here in pavli connect we have received the product details from google sheets so guys the step 1 of setting up this automation is completed now here we will go back to google sheet and click on this submit button and after clicking on submit we are just saving these settings which we have added the setup is configured successfully now so we have received the details of the product from google sheet inside pavli connect now using this pavli connect automation we want to send this product details to woocommerce so that we can add this product in woocommerce so we will just scroll down come to our action window and here in choose app search for woocommerce select woocommerce over here after selecting woocommerce in action event from this drop down select the action event as create a product then just click on connect and select add new connection now here guys we have to basically connect our woocommerce account with public connect in this window and to make this connection we have to enter the consumer key consumer secret and website url of our woocommerce account now here guys to get the consumer key and consumer secret you just have to go to your woocommerce account so here this is my wordpress site where i have installed my woocommerce plugin just hover on woocommerce and go to the settings section of woocommerce go to the settings page of your woocommerce account after coming to the settings page here you can see an option of advanced just click on advanced and after clicking on advance here you can see an option of rest api click on rest api after coming to this rest api page here you can see a list of all the consumer keys all the api credentials which we have created in our woocommerce account just click on this add key button and then here it is asking us to give the description to the screen so we want the description to be for example google sheets automation This is the description I am giving. You can basically give any description of your choice. Select the user of your WooCommerce store and here it is asking us for the permission. Now here in permission from this drop down select the permission as read and write and click on this generate API key button. After clicking on generate API key here you can see that the consumer key and consumer secret are generated for our WooCommerce store. Copy this consumer key from here go to public connect and paste it over here. After pasting the consumer key, just copy the consumer secret from here and then paste it over here as well. After entering the consumer key and consumer secret, the last thing it asks us is the website URL. So here we have to enter the website URL of our WooCommerce store. So if we'll just go to this section and here in the URL section, you can see this website URL. Just copy this URL from here till WP3 and paste it over here and then just click on save. Now when we click on save we will see a WooCommerce account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection the first thing it asks us is the product name. 
that what is the name of the product which we want to create inside WooCommerce. So here guys, in our Google Sheet, while adding the product details, we have also added the name of the product, the title of the product in the Google Sheet. So here we have received this Google Sheet response, the details of the product from Google Sheet inside Public Connect in this trigger window. And here guys, from this trigger window responses, which we have received from Google Sheet, we have to map this response of product name, of product title in this respective field. Now guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you will see a list of all the responses which we have received from Google Sheet of a new product. While we clicked on send test data, we have received the details of the first row and from these responses, select the response of the product name, product title and map it over here. After mapping the product name, it is asking us for the product slug. So here guys, the field of product slug is not mandatory, it's not required. So if you want, you can keep this field blank for now or you can enter a new column. You can create a new column with product slug inside your Google Sheet and map the response of product slug over here as well. Then it is asking us product type. And here in the drop down, you can see four different options, simple, grouped, external or variable. So what type of product it is which we are creating. So right now we are creating simple products using this automation. Like in my Google Sheet, I have a list of products and all of them are simple products. So we have selected simple over here. Then it is asking us for the product status. Like after creating the product in WooCommerce, what will be the status of these products? These products are going to get published. Will they be private? Will they be pending? Or we are just creating the draft of these products. So I want to directly publish the product on my WooCommerce store using this automation. So I will be selecting publish over here. But if you want to keep the product in draft or private or pending, you can select any status of your choice. Then it is asking us featured product that the product which we are creating is a featured product or not. So no, we are not creating any featured product. So that's why we have selected false over here. Then it is asking us for the SKU of this product and we have added the SKU of the product in our Google Sheet. So here we have to just map this response of product SKU which we have received from Google Sheet inside Public Connect over here into the SKU field. And guys, the process of mapping stays the same. Just click here. And from the drop down, here you can see a list of all the responses. And from these responses, select the response of SKU and map it. Then it is asking us for the catalog visibility. So is it visible? Is it catalog? Is it search or hidden? So I want to keep this product as visible. Then we have to map the regular price and sales price as well. So we have received the, both the price from our Google Sheet. So let's map the regular price in this regular price field. And then we have to map the sale price as well. So from the drop down, map the sale price. Then we have the field of description where we have to enter the product description of the product which we are creating. Just click here and from the drop down, select and map the response of product description over here. Then if you want, you also have an option to add a short description of the product which you are creating. So here guys, in uh, your Google Sheet, you can add another column of short description and there you can enter the short description of your product and map the data. In this way, all of these fields which we have kept blank or selected from the dropdown, you can turn the mapping button on in front of these dropdown fields, clear the default response and then you can map the required option from Google Sheet responses. Like for example, you can select the product type, you can enter the product type in your Google Sheet in a new column, get that data inside Public Connect turn this mapping button on and map that data over here. So in this way, we just have to enter all the details of the product. Then it is asking us date on sale for from and date on sale to. So we have entered two different price for the same product. First is the regular price and second one is the sale price. So from what date to what date, till what time duration we are going to keep this product on sale that till what time duration this product will be sold on the sale price. We have to enter that date and time over here from date and time and to date and time. Then it is asking us for the virtual that the product which we are creating, is it a virtual product or a real product or physical product? So it is not a virtual product. So we will be selecting false over here. Then it is asking us for the external URL that if we are selling some kind of external product on our WooCommerce store, you can enter the external URL of that product as well. So here we are not creating any kind of external product right now using this automation. So you can keep this field blank. But if you want, you can add another column of external URL into the Google Sheet and map that data over here. Then it is asking us tax status. So this product is not taxable. If these products are taxable, then you can enter all the tax related details into the Google Sheet and map the required data. 
Now it is asking us manage stock. Now do we want WooCommerce to manage the stock of this product? So yes, we want to. So we are going to select true over here. Then it is asking us for the stock quantity. So from Google Sheet, we have received the stock quantity of this product. So we are going to just map that response, that data over here. Then it is asking us stock status. So what is the status of this product? So these products are just being created. So all of these products are in stock. So I'm going to select in stock over here. And after that, here you can see a list of all the other details of the product which you are creating. You can basically create column for each and every detail into your Google Sheet, enter the details of that product in those columns, and after getting the response, map that response into the respective fields over here. We will just scroll down and here you can see a response, a field of line item image URL. Here guys, in this field, if you want, you can enter the image URLs of the product as well. And you can basically add multiple images to a product by entering comma separated image URLs over here. So we have entered a image URL of the product into a Google Sheet. And we are going to map that response of image URL from Google Sheet step to this step. So let's select and map the URL over here. Now after this, if you want to add multiple images for a product, you just have to enter the comma separated values, comma separated URLs over here. So in this URL field, in the cell of URL image URL, you just have to enter a comma and then you can add another image URL. Then after another comma, you can add another image URL over here. And in this way, you can add multiple image URLs and you have to just map this response of multiple image URLs separated by comma in this line item image URL field. Similarly, if you want, you can enter the line item image name, like you can give the name of these images as well into the same comma separated values. Like the image name of the first URL will be entered first, then after a comma, we are going to mention the image name of the second URL over here. After mapping the image URL, here you can see some other details, some other options of adding the product details. If you want, you can basically enter manually enter these details or you can map these responses from Google Sheet. And after mapping all the details of the product, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details of the product which we have mapped over here. Basically, the details of the product which we have received from Google Sheet after making the connection, the first product, this particular product is now created in our WooCommerce store. And here guys, you can see all the details of the product. You can see the product ID, product name, and the product slug. So we kept the field of product slug as blank, but WooCommerce has automatically created a slug for this product. And after this, you can see all the other details like description, price, SKU, and all the other details which we have added. So in this way, guys, you can see that we have successfully created the product. Now let's check it. We will go to our WooCommerce store and we will just refresh this product page once. And yes, here you can see that this product of washing machine is now added in our WooCommerce store. Here is the product. This is the same image whose image link, whose image URL we have added over here. You can see the same regular price that is $2.99 and the same sale price which we have entered. And here you can see that there are 648 units of this product in stock. The same stock units which we have entered into our Google Sheet. And you can see the same product description and all the other details as well. This means using this automation, we have successfully created a product in our WooCommerce store from the details which we have in our Google Sheet. Now after setting up this automation, what we want to do, we want to add all the products which we have in our Google Sheet to our WooCommerce store. So we have created the automation workflow. Now we have to send all the details of the product which we have in our Google Sheet to this automation workflow. So because while setting up this automation, we have successfully created this first product, this washing machine, the product which we have in row two. So I will just delete this row from my Google Sheet. And after that, all the product details which we have in our Google Sheet, we have to send this data. We want to send all of these product details to Pabli Connect so that using this Pabli Connect automation, we can add these products in WooCommerce. And to send all the data of our Google Sheet to Pabli Connect, we will go to extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks, and we have to click on this send all data button. Just click on it. Now, when we click on send all data, the details or the data of this complete Google Sheet, the details and the data of all the product which we have in our Google Sheet will be sent to Pabli Connect. And using this Pabli Connect automation which we have created, we are going to add all of those products in our WooCommerce store. So let's check it. First, we will go to the history section of this automation workflow. We will just go to the workflow history. And here you can see that we have received all of these data from Google Sheet over here. 
So you can see that we have received the data, the details of six different products. And here you can see that in our Google Sheet right now, while sending the data, we had six products over here. And it is showing us that all of these automation workflows are executed successfully. Means all of these products are successfully added in WooCommerce. So let's check it. We will go to a WooCommerce store and refresh this product page once. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same six products, watch, camera, wall watch, guitar, coffee mug, and plus phone. So the same six products which we had in our Google Sheet are now automatically added with the same details in our WooCommerce store over here. Here you can see the same name, same image whose link we have added, same SKU, same stock quantity, pricing, and all the other details. This means this automation workflow is working perfectly fine. And after setting up this automation, just by one click, just by giving a one click on send all data, all the products which you have in your Google Sheet with the same details, all of these products will be added in our WooCommerce store. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can actually clone this same automation workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.